Yo! How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> this go away. Are we gonna players? Hmm. So 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 where was I? Mm. Hey, Wonder Levy, what up? Hmm. I got this some sort of all new all stars loyalty reward program and like win things for the Twitch for Twitch. I will read up about that. I mean, obviously, I'm far away from that. Probably going to have some sort of value, but I mean, if if that that thing at some point is some gives back to you guys, well, then that's great. So I will do some research about it and see what the hell this All Star stuff is. If you get awards or rewards. Or maybe additional emote or something. So that's great. I will I will check it out. I it literally just popped up, so we'll see. Hey, Amir Tormo, Doctor Sheldon, Morphia, Morphia, how's it going? <laughs> Uh, one Amir Levy, I don't know, I, I mean, I literally just saw it before, as I clicked live, uh, so I have no idea about it, uh, but, uh, it's some Streamlabs stuff, the all-new All-Stars Loyalty Reward Program, I mean, Loyalty Reward sounds more towards you guys, right? Mm, we'll see, I have no idea what it is. Like exclusive merch, that sounds fun. Uh, game codes, <laughs> but I don't, I, I don't, I don't think I generate enough traffic for that to, to be able to, to to be paid off uh, or re a reward of some sort. But let's try. I'm gonna read up about it. Hey, Kirill, I'm good. Everything is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my kids, my son loved that movie for a while. Hey Miguel, how's it going? So how about you give me some topics? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do some topic. Do it. Let's do it. Any suggestions? Tits and ass. Oof. All right. <laughs> topic number one. Tits and ass. 40k Space Marine. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to wing the specifics if it's a uh, 40k space marine because i don't really know what they look like specifically but we'll see centaur broken warrior delightful mercy hmm, pretty cool one the bone golem hey rock knight studios yeah, yeah that prime that sweet sweet prime juice <laughs> cheers man very much appreciated all right, so as usual, not that dice, but the next one. Boom, number five. What, which one is number five? One, two, three, four, five. Delightful Mercy. Delightful Mercy by Kirill. Delightful Mercy. What is, what on earth is Delightful Mercy? Hey Bruno, Romanos, Zelin, Eric Mui. All oh, you beautiful people. Um, Rob Studios, I'm good man, how are you? All right, Delightful Mercy. 
So delightful mercy, mercy, mercy is forgiveness, delightful, happy forgiveness, delightful mercy, delightful mercy, delightful mercy. All right. I got a picture. I got a picture in my head. Let's see if I can, I can if I if if I can manage to 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 capture it with uh, a lot of time. The time is running. That's good. Hey, fresh Bonard, how's it going? How's everyone today? So, like I said, um, this this whatever all stars reward stuff is. I'm going to read up about it. I mean, ideally, that's something for you guys that will feed back to you. So that would be great. We'll see. Uh, I, I'm, I doubt that it is going to be anything specific. I think what they're going to ask me is to like activate things on the profile so that you guys use it. And when you use it, it'll tick up to uh, some sort of award or reward. Um, but as like all with all the, with all those things like uh, um, emotes or merch store or things like that is the it's all down to statistics and even though we are a fantastic bunch of people um, let's say 40 people on average per stream um, is nowhere close to like the big streamers with thousands of people where the like merch actually makes sense you know uh, but nevertheless i'm going to read up about it and try hopefully it's something cool god damn that's hot coffee ah all right, <laughs> now I'm awake, let's go. Yeah, I was thinking yesterday about um, my, my lecture and I had this kind of cool idea. I want to run, run past you. Um, what it, my idea is, uh, is follow, as follow. I did a test, um, which is uh, which, on paper would have been a really cool idea, but it didn't work out, so I've had had to readjust it. But the idea was, you know, everyone does a live demo, and uh, and it's kind of like an excuse, of oh it it, it didn't end up being um, you know as good as whatever whatever you know you know the classic live demo is never as good as uh, sitting at your own studio at your own pace and making something cool right any rate so i was thinking what if i do uh, best of both worlds right so i record myself um doing the work a lot of extra work that i wouldn't be able to do live um like let's say Two, two full characters I record I record up to that to the workshop right and and I figured out that if you have Photoshop active and you can dislodge uh, like you can dislodge Photoshop like this right and if you drag it down there you won't show it won't show you won't have access to the the things but you will have a floating window uh, a floating window you can paint on and see where I'm going with this right so the idea is I had yesterday I was um, I, that's why I didn't stream on my lunch because I was out um, contemplating my my tactical moves <laughs> was that what if I record myself doing all this hard work and I can incorporate slides and theories into the movie uh, and have a vertical so I record the screen as a widescreen right but I, I 
I edit it so the left side is all blank. There's black. There's nothing there. And everything is going to be orientated on the right side. So it's going to be a vertical composition of, of the video. So it's half screen and vertical only. And there I will display the whole process of creating all these concepts and characters and slides with a little bit of information, well paced, maybe with, with, with a song. And that means that when I, if I reduce this um, Photoshop to like at the bottom of the, like that, like that, right? I can still have that, this document on half the screen and play the movie behind over here. So you, you guys can see me create shit like sped up and, and with slides and so on. Uh, and I can paint over here one live thing and be more theoretical and kind of discuss things as I'm thinking while you see the, the, the pizzazz <laughs> on the right side. I think that's a pretty cool idea, right? That's a pretty good solution where I can actually share theories or design theory um, and without you guys or the observer being left out of the, the cool stuff, right? And I can even in this movie have like a highlight trailer of my work. You know, you could make it all sorts of pretty cool things and just have it half screen. But you author it so it's half the video is actually just blank on the left side and on the right side is is the, is the content i think that that's a pretty good i think that would be a pretty good um setup right sound off what do, what do you think would would that would that be an interesting thing to kind of sit in on obviously i would I would talk about um, whatever topic I could even do it for art direction, like a little bit more specific to art direction instead of concept art uh, design theory, which I've talked about extensively. Um, you know, maybe I could do the talk a little bit more of art direction, right? What to think about direction and the theory. Miguel, yeah, I think so too. Focusing on art direction rather than the theory, because you'll s people will see the theory, right? In 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 effect in the movie and in my in my demo. Rock Knight Studios. So yeah, so my idea was I record myself painting first, so it's already like a video, a, a, an unedited video. Um, you know, where with whatever I want to display. So it's a full screen video, but half of the screen is left black. So I organize everything into a vertical composition in the video. And then on the left side, I can do a live demo while the demo is playing, another demo is playing in the background. I mean, I can have music or I can't, I don't necessarily need music as well. I mean, I could put, uh, I mean, I don't want to have me talking in the video, obviously. That's a bit weird. <laughs> Some sort of mime. Hey, Weeping Jay, how's it going? Good morning, Weeping Jay. Rock Knight Studios. Well, this is a uh, for a lecture in creation I'm going to be doing. And my original idea was to do a talk about art direction. And uh, because, you know, there's not a lot of talks about art direction, yet everyone wants to do their own project or IP or uh, create their own world. But no one, I mean, I'll, a lot of the things that you see is actually, you know, some ideas are great or interesting, but 
in terms of direct art direction, it could be, you know, significantly better. Rock Knight Studios. All right, that's, that's, that's nice, to, nice, nice that you think that. I think, um, to be fair, I think also as well, like that's a pretty okay solution, but <laughs> like it re requires me to do a lot of work before that point, right? I need to record like a full process of creating a character and so on and so on. But I mean, I sit and paint all day anyways. Obviously I can't do it for client work and I can't But I can still do Rock Knight Studios. I could, but it's not specific. It's not. I would say I can't. Hey, Dame Deviant, how's it going? Good morning. Or good evening. I don't know. Um, but yeah. The thing is, like, what I was thinking about yesterday. I was thinking about... Like, if I'm going to do the art direction talk about how, how you should contemplate... Or how you should approach art direction. Like, the theory behind it, the ideas behind it. Hey, Kuo Streams, how's it going? What up, Kuo Streams? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For everyone who doesn't know, Kuo Streams is a gamer, streamer, gamer, who also dabbles in art recently. He's a cool guy. You should uh, click his name, get the business card pop up, and then click follow. Hey, Gria, what up? Yeah, exactly, um, Rock Knight Studios. Um, so the idea is, like, I currently I was thinking, okay, so I'm going to do... Um, no course rooms, I'm just saying, you know, people should, people should follow you. You're a fun streamer. Um, anyways, so I was saying, what I was saying was, like, um, so I want to be specific, so I'm going to design or art direct a concept, right? So I'm going to act art director for myself over the span to create a character. So my idea is what I will record is, um, is kind of like the creation of the concepts based on the art direction principles um, I will talk about. I mean, so I, mean, I could even have slides on the left of theory, art direction, talk, while having on the right the creation of the art direction. You know, I, I think that could be a... I mean, if done right, I think it could be really cool. You know, so you'll see... Um, you'll see it in effect. So it's, so it's just not dry dry theory on slides, you know? Miguel, is it? You'll talk about art direction too? Rock Knight Studios. No, this is for um, a workshop in Croatia called IFCC. Um, I don't have my um, talks uh, available uh, outside of workshops. My lectures are always uh, workshop exclusive. I try to do a new, a new one for every, every workshop I do. 
No problem. No problem. Uh, Rock Knight Studios. You probably you probably isn't the aren't the only one who missed the context. So it's a good thing to to mention then. Rock Knight Studios. Yeah, it is. I mean, in general, IFCC are it, they, it's a great workshop. Uh, quite laid back and quite um, great for um, networking. They're not super duper, <laughs> super duper. That's a nice eighties word combination. Uh, they're not extremely um, hardcore in the term, in sense of let's say industry workshops, which is significantly more um, kind of heavy. Where IFCCs are quite free flowing. There's a lot of interesting people. There's a great sense of um, like creativity in IFCC workshops. You also in a beautiful country, beautiful people. You know, so in general, I I I, pref I, I really like IFCC. Um, I think is this is going to be my fourth year or fifth fourth year I'm lecturing there. So it's going to be fun. Cool streams, yeah, super duper. <laughs> Shame on me. So uh, Miguel, w explain a little bit, roughly, what you're going to do then, so we don't do the same thing. <laughs> if you don't mind, Miguel. Or maybe I'll just check with the organizers if I will be sitting and maybe I should just do live demo every morning. Rock Knight Studios. Well, there were plans to do. I had plans to do a character design uh, stream. Uh, now for a, over a year, I haven't gotten around to doing it. But um, I mean, I, ideally, yeah. Iglesias Miguel. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Back to the drawing board then. <laughs> all right. I guess I'll need to talk to the organizers. Get that Miguel off the books. <laughs> How dare Miguel! encroach on my territory <laughs> hey uh hey ifcc this miguel person i heard uh you know Nah, man, don't worry about it. Just, a, I, I, I joke. I joke. I'm just being stupid. No, but I, 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 I have to go back to the drawing board then. Um, I will, I will actually need to shoot an email to the organizers today. Maybe I can do a daily demo of the same thing every day. People can sit in and ask questions one to one. I think that's that might be a little bit cooler. Like I'll sit at somewhere publicly every day, certain time. People can come and ask questions about whatever I'm doing or whatever they they have, and that might be a better thing rather than hey everybody. Miguel, yeah maybe. I can, uh, I can, um, I 
there. No, but I mean, there's no point in doing the same thing. Absolutely no point in doing the same thing. Worst is at workshops when it's just <laughs> people are saying the same thing, you know. One of the challenges as a as a lecturer is to to make sure that you have a a unique content, you know, your own take on things. I mean, granted, my art direction or or stuff like that wouldn't be the same. But uh, I think it's a little bit same. I'll, I'll go, go get back to thinking and talking, talking to the organizers, and try to get you banned. <laughs> no. But I think it just generally that would be a cool. I think I would like that experience of having having the ability to watch a video and listen to theory at the same time and see both at the same time. That hasn't really, I'd, I'd say that hasn't really been done uh, lecture wise. I mean, usually you have one or the other, right? A, a video or, or slides or um, a live demo taking over the whole uh, display screen, right? The, the, the um, cinema screen. But never both at the same time. So that's why I kind of like the idea of it. But if it's just going to be the same for everyone, then. Uh, eh. We'll see. I'll give it a think. Okay, what time is it? Seven minutes left. But I think regardless, I'll contact the organizers and, and kind of check the temperature. Hey, Carol Cohen, how's it going? What up? Miguel, yeah, maybe, <laughs> I mean, I'm so offended right now, how dare you, <laughs> nah man, don't worry about it, I just, w I'm just um, thinking out loud, you know, I just want to have some, some cool, um, unique content, you know, I want to be, I want to be special <laughs> in that way. You shouldn't feel feel anything worried or anything. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I I could have done the same, you know, thinking but silently off stream. But I'm doing it just publicly, hanging you out to dry. <laughs> no, just kidding. Cool. <laughs> Aren't you special? Yeah, but don't no, like I said, don't worry about it. It's all good. I'm I'm just kind of trying to plan what I'm going to do. And one of the ideas was that video thing. Another one was a pure art direction theory, which I've already planned out is already halfway done. All I need to do is kind of set up the slides now and refine the, the lecture. So in that in that sense, I have already have um, two lectures planned out. Uh, so it's not like it's do or die in, in this idea, but it's a, it could be a cool idea to do, but it also doesn't really matter. I'm not set, you know, it's not set in stone. I can do whatever. Uh, I just want something cool for the for the for the kids. Hey, Snowwalker, 
Kuo can learn Photoshop by coming to this stream and watching four years of daily streams in the on the YouTube archive. There's plenty of stuff there to pick up. Or join the Discord. Link underneath the stream. <laughs> But all, in all seriousness, I want to have something cool, you know, I want to, the idea I know from uh, talking to Marco, the organizer before, was that it's uh, more personal, more, uh, a more personal experience, more hand, handheld type thing. Um, so I want to come up with something cool. And I think a, another lecture in front on a stage might not be the best. So. We'll see. We'll see. I just want to come up with a good idea. So that's this was one of my ideas from yesterday. Yeah, video editing is actually quite f good fun. I love doing stuff like that. But I'm an amateur at it. In that, in that sense, I'm far from. I mean, I know how to do it. But uh, it's not my profession or anything. I just always enjoyed all forms of creativity and video editing is one of them. It's good fun. Snowwalker, if I'm using a draw pad, I'm, um, I have a 24 inch Cintiq is what it's called, which is a monitor and drawing pad all in one HD, all that jazz. Eric Ricky about the lecture. Uh, cool streams, yeah, it is expensive. It's like two thousand something, uh, so it's 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 a very expensive toy. But I've already earned it in, you know. It's, it's like a. a um, investment both in me as an artist and uh, the future you know because when i bought this uh, because it's a display and drawing pad all in one it changes absolutely because it's also a big screen so it changes the way you draw a mark the mark is one to one in drawing pads usually you, you sit like this and look at the monitor and react to the distance right you see the mouse cursor move and you react on the Cintiq this 24 inch mark is like on paper or on canvas you see it underneath the, the finger you see what it happens and the distance is one to one right the mark is exactly so for me that changes everything Eric Eric yeah IFCC is um, a huge uh, big workshop in uh, Croatia Usually it's around like three, four hundred people, but this year it's a little bit more low key, and they changed location to split. Um, and there I will be having a lecture. Usually my lectures are about uh, design theory or character design theory or a little bit more heavier subjects and quite data centric, like takeaway stuff, you know, rather than here's how I do it. Uh, because a lot of people tend to do the here's how I do it type thing and uh, that's fantastic for everyone but like I said I don't want to be doing what everyone else doing so that there is variety and there's takeaway from something you know uh, something more differently than take away from all the fantastic Miguel's out there <coughs> that will, will <laughs> that will show their magic right I'm not raining on Miguel's parade. I think it's great that he's going to do that and it's very much needed. But if everyone does it, then it'll be a bit, you know, everybody loves hamburgers, but hamburgers every day. 
So my idea is I just I want to switch it up. Uh, Snow Walker. Yeah, I mean, all in all, it's, it's good stuff, but it's not do or die to be good at digital art. I mean, it's a tool. Personally, I'm very heavy in traditional skills. So actually having the ability to see the marks as I would do them in real life is, is extremely beneficial for me. But before that point, I had like, let's say, seven years of of tablet i used a drawing tablet and i was great at it and i loved it and it was the good, best tool ever then i i was fortunate to try one of these screen um, things and i was like yep that is that is what i need not all artists need it just because a lot of people use this doesn't mean it's vital it's all down to what you feel like you need, right? And for me, this is what I needed. But I could have easily done the same art with a tablet, a cheap tablet, a little bamboo tablet. It's arbitrary, right? It's all down to what you, you're used to. Miguel, yeah, something like that, probably, we'll see. Snow Walker, no problem, no problem. So this is what what I decided to draw <laughs> based on uh, Kirill's uh, topic, uh, Delightful Mercy. So in my mind, I, I was thinking some sort of happy king, like the, the soldier is like, oh, I'm sorry I failed you, master, kneeling with the sword. And the king is like, ha, 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 you're spared. I won't kill you today. Ha, ha. That's, that was my idea. Yeah, exactly. Like, mercy for me sounds more like, okay, you won't die yet. Maybe later. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Miguel, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. It's all about, it's down to me. I could have easily just not asked. And I knew you would be doing some concept stuff. And that's fantastic. I think that's great. I just, you know, don't worry about it. It's all good. I'm not going to lose any, any sleep over it. I'm going to just try to come up with a cool idea, right? So let's um, let's raid someone. Let's see. Let's um, let's give our love to someone else. Yesterday we raided some random. It was pretty interesting. Um, oh, that that dude is doing game dev again. What are the pixel art guy doing? I don't know. It's an ad. Oh. Chloe Ventura again. Do you guys like Chloe Ventura? Let's raid Chloe Ventura. Fuck it. Oh, she's doing environment. Traditional. That's pretty cool. All right. Thanks everyone for joining in. Uh, it was a great talk. Uh, fun fun things um, as, as always I love the morning ritual with you everyone it's fantastic have a great night good night have a great day if you're th this part of the world as per usual see you guys tomorrow morning for another stream um, I'll take you to the raid after the outro so hang tight um, thanks everyone you guys are the best period <laughs> bye